okay guys so at first i wasn't gonna film this then i realized that i have daughters that maybe in the future this will happen to them so i want to show you how i thicken my stew after messing it up so yesterday i made this stew and even though you, it looks thick now once you warm it up it's going to be very watery i don't know what happened but we women we make mistakes men also make mistakes so i hope what i'm doing will help you guys out so sorry i didn't film from the beginning but i'm gonna tell you what i did so i started off by putting some vegetable oil as if i wanted to make a brand new stew and i put vegetable oil and then i put diced up some um, onions in this and after doing that when i cooked the onions for like two minutes just to be a little bit soft and then i added one can of tomato paste one can of tomato paste so when i was looking online for people that had this issue they said put flour put uh, cocoa powder all this stuff i don't want anything that will mess up the taste of my stew so i added one can of this tomato paste inside the vegetable oil and onion mixed it together let it cook for like two minutes and now what i've been doing then what i did was added in my spices because it's as if i'm making a brand new stew so this is my spices this is um like chicken spice without the msg this is what we use we don't use maggie we just use this one it's all natural and then i also added in some salt to season it up now what i'm doing now you see the look of the stew you see the stew looks much more thicker yeah and even the color looks so much better if i were to warm up this stew it would be so watery you guys it was like so much watery i had to like apologize to my husband because <laughs> i was like i don't know what happened i must have been so tired so now because this is fish stew this is another thing don't make this mistake since this is fish stew you don't want to cook it in there yet because you don't want your fish to be soft so i'm gradually mixing this stew and i'm seeing the thickness okay i'm liking this thickness i might have to do two batches of this because i don't want this i don't want this water water thing okay i really don't want this this is going to be so much liquid so yeah so i hope this helps you guys out what i'm going to do is i'm just going to continue adding it in and then when i get the right thickness after this has cooked i will now transfer the fish into it and cook it a little bit and that's it so yeah I searched online for this and nobody had the answer so I hope this helps you out so now I'm done with the stew this is gonna be the stew for the week this one I'm gonna freeze this stew so that the next time when I want to make stew I just do the same thing again and I make stew so this is the thickness is a nice thickness to it and now I'm gonna transfer my fish this is my fish so I'm just gonna gradually transfer my fish in here and then use the stew to cover the fish and please 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 taste for seasoning when you are done because you know you are mixing two stews together so you want to taste for seasoning to make sure everything seasons together so yeah 